Hi everyone. So yesterday I have uh, briefed about PySpark and we also logged into Databricks. So I thought that was too quick to jump into programming. Before that, I want all of you to know what is Spark, what is PySpark, and like what is Databricks, right? I think we, we are going to build everything in Databricks. <coughs> in today's session is going to be purely theory. I just wanted to talk about like what is Spark. We already know SQL. And why do we need to learn another uh, programming language or why do we need to learn Spark, right? We are going to talk about that today on day two. So let us let us try to understand what is Spark. So Spark is a sp software framework. It is not a software, it's not hardware, it's a software framework. And as it is reading, right, Apache Spark is an open source distributed computing framework designed for fast and scalable big data processing. It can handle batch and real-time processing. So now uh, the biggest uh, problem or the interesting thing which we know is like everywhere we have data, there are plenty of data around us. And we need to like understand, analyze this large amount of data uh, as fast as we can to understand that and solve the problems, right? So that is what we data engineers do. So what Spark is doing here? With our traditional uh, data processing mechanism or in the relational data, we have challenges to store all kind of data, right? Like uh, the, the, you, you have uh, unstructured, semi-structured, all these kind of data storing and managing is a problem. So that is where Spark coming to picture. If you are going to take a very serial path and I'll, I'll tell one example here, like you, you have a hundred page of book, you wanted to read that. If you are taking our normal uh, like Python pandas or uh, our SQL which we have learned uh, in every day, like you are going to read one one page, right? But imagine that like you are uh, distributing that 100 pages into 100 people and they are reading and coming back and providing a summary. How fast and how cool it is, right? You can do everything in a day. Or like how much time you need to read one page, that's all you need to process 100 pages. That is what distributed computing is. So Spark is a framework that facilitates the distributed computing. So what is the features in memory processing? Distributed computing, that is one thing which I said. So you can, you can manage large amount of data uh, faster than the serial method. And Spark support different programming languages, Python, Scala, and Spark is built on Scala. However, like uh, uh, Spark support uh, Python, Scala, Java, SQL and R. So here, uh, there is a uh, library called SpySpark that is facilitating writing the programming in Python to uh, use the uh, Spark uh, clusters and everything. So that is what PySpark. We are going to learn PySpark. Before that, I wanted to set this base. That is what we are going to cover in today's video. And uh, fault tolerance is again something Spark provide. Like you, you have different nodes, right? What if one node fails? You have 10 nodes and one node fails, how it works. So there are mechanism like even that uh, one node is fail, you don't lose the data. So that uh, like processing will be shared into other nodes and they, they will take care of it. So that's why we'll, we'll be creating multiple copies and all these things. I don't want you to understand that complexity of Spark processing today because our primary focus on this series is PySpark. But however, you should understand what is Spark and what is Databricks and why PySpark is required, right? And uh, unified data processing, handle batch processing, real-time processing, all types of things, right? When, when we are talking about our re relational or SQL, we are primarily talking about the structured data. Here in case of uh, uh, Spark, it takes care of everything. Okay, so now let me conclude. PySpark is a uh, library in Python that would help you to utilize the Spark uh, uh, parallel processing system for your data processing. Okay. Let me move to. Yeah, I also have a couple of differences uh, listed between Spark and SQL, which would help you to kind of understand, okay. Why do I need to learn PySpark? 
understand that you need to learn PySpark in order to utilize the Spark capability. Spark is a framework. One is distributed computer, right? Your 100 pages are reading by 100 people so that like it will be faster. And in memory processing, so it's faster. And um, data size, it is handled larger than our structured data because uh, it, it has that parallel process. So ba base of it, everywhere it is uh, the, uh, the parallel processing or uh, the distributed processing. Okay. And highly scalable across, yeah, scalability means you can increase that uh, uh, like processing speed and everything that's called scalability. And data format, as I said, like you can process any type of data. So we will be learning in PySpark how we will be dealing with unstructured data with examples and everything. And language support, um, which, which we covered. And use cases, big data analytics, machine learning and streaming. Streaming means like, uh, uh, like uh, the live data uh, uh, reading and analyzing. That's called uh, streaming. Okay. Hope uh, you understood what is Spark. Again, Spark, uh, Spark is built by Apache. It's a software foundation and it's an open source. It built in 2009. So understand that it's a framework and we are learning PySpark to make use of the Spark capability for data processing. So now what is PySpark? Py PySpark is a Python API which I mentioned for Apache Spark. So uh, that is what I mentioned in the last video. If you wanted to use PySpark, there are a couple of ways like you can um, either we can directly do that in Databricks or you can use your existing Python uh, platforms like um, uh, VS Code or uh, wherever you have Python, right? There also you would be able to use PySpark by uh, Im Im importing the libraries, right? So here in uh, like PySpark, we call everything as API. We'll, we'll learn that like what are the APIs we have in all these things we'll be learning in the practical sessions. Same big data processing. So uh, in SQL, we, we learn the relational data and structured data, how we will be using the relational data in setup data, everything. So why we need to learn uh, uh, PySpark or Python today? So Python is the base and PySpark is the library. So if you, if you already know Python coding, so it will be very easy to learn PySpark. Even if you don't know also, like uh, let us see how I can go as simple as it is with PySpark so that like you would be able to learn this. So uh, here we need to learn PySpark. It's not necessary to learn PySpark. You can learn R or anything. But uh, here we are learning PySpark. So that would help you to manage like or do the big data processing using the programming. Like SQL, you can use PySpark to do larger data set, terabyte of petabytes of data using multiple code. Uh, you might be thinking about, uh, okay, Spark, I heard uh, Spark, uh, context, node manager and everything. We are not covering all that today. I don't want this to make it complicated. We are here to understand what is PySpark and uh, like how this is being used in the real time. Because you should, you should be, when, when you learn the second programming language, right? You should know why am I learning this? Because I already know something. What is the value at which I am going to get if I learn this? So when you learn PySpark, you will have the capability to manage um, one, you know how to do this distributed computing. And second thing, you, you will have the capability to manage large amount of data using the parallel processing so that uh, you also learn the internals of how the Spark cluster works as a value add. And uh, th these things are again uh, same thing what we have covered. Sorry. Um, integrated with Python libraries, Pandas, Numbai. Since it is in Python, you, you can make use of all the Python libraries, right? So um, again, I'll, I'll go into the third one, the last one, uh, that is Databricks. We, we, I, I told you guys, guys to create a, uh, a community uh, version of uh, Databricks to be like um, taught to create an account in community, uh, Databricks community edition. It's a cloud-based unified platform. So this is built on Apache Spark. Right. Apache Spark is open source and Databricks is not open source. So, but uh, Databricks is built on uh, Apache Spark. If I am not wrong, Databricks is built on 2013. 
and uh, the same spark people have built it uh, th this is uh, more more uh, structured or what do i say uh, like more standard version of apache it's like if you wanted to do everything in um, open source you can use apache spark and if you wanted to have an enterprise version in cloud we we can use databricks so since it is built on apache uh, uh, like spark you you will get by default uh, spark capability that is why we are using the uh, notebooks in databricks to directly learn our pyspark okay so let us uh, see this um, points listed here right one is un unified analytic platform same thing you can do so what is unified platform it is nothing but uh, um, you can do uh, etl machine learning bi bi means uh, this um, analytics and visualization everything in one place that's called unified maybe you might be hearing this buzzword everywhere unified platform unified when when you hear that keep this in mind all the uh, data engineering machine learning and bi things are being done in one place that's called unified platform and uh, databricks is built on spark but it is it is optimized for spark and it's 10 times faster than our uh, normal apache fog that's what uh, it is claiming and it is cloud native where that said like it can databricks can connect to azure aws and google cloud um without complexity that means like uh, this this does not have a storage and you can use the storage from uh, data lake or um, s3 bucket and all these things and you can connect to that and process the data and uh, data lake uh, data lake s3 buckets are kind of the storage where you can store structured and unstructured data uh, for the processing right so uh, notebooks notebooks are where we are going to write our um, uh, like uh, Py, PySpark uh, SQL and all these codes we will be writing in notebooks and um, auto scaling so uh, Databricks has its own default cap uh, capability to auto scale the cluster so we will be I think yesterday we talked about building the cluster right um, that was community edition but in the enterprise edition we have the capability to auto scale it and it has uh, built-in security and all these things so uh, this is about databricks so what i wanted you to take away from this uh, session is this uh, what is databricks databricks is a platform built on top of uh, apache spark which uh, which is an enterprise version of like a cloud-based version that will help you to um build your queries on a uni unified analytic platform right and uh, pyspark why we are learning pyspark because we wanted to learn how we can query unstructured large amount of data and make use of the parallel processing or distributed computing feature from apache spark if you have to utilize that you need to have a uh, programming base that we are going to build through uh, pyspark and apache spark is the base of everything that is uh, a software framework that facilitate the um, distributed computing system because um, uh, once when you hit the query it has to decide okay how this will be distributed and uh, ran it in different nodes all this uh, will be built on this spot, uh, software framework called spark and um, we are going to make use of that by writing queries in PySpark hope this is clear i know this is fully a theory session it may not be that interesting as like going and writing query but having this understanding definitely help you to relate like tomorrow when you log into databricks you know like why you are doing that and when when you start writing queries in pyspark you know why you are learning however you know sql you know what is the purpose of it why everyone is turning like telling learn python so you have the answer for that and you also hearing like open source Apache Spark, uh, even however you have Apache Spark, why we are using Databricks, you have that answer. So keep these related things in mind. And in next up again, up upcoming classes, we are going to talk about purely on PySpark coding. But I'll, I'll also be talking about Databricks and uh, Spark clusters and how this Spark clusters working. 
when when and in nadir like uh, when, when you run the query how this query is working it is important to know so that will be covered when when you when we get familiarized with pyspark and based on our understanding i don't want to go with an architecture and make it complex hope uh, this video gave you a base for what is databricks spark and uh, pyspark and everything if you have any questions feel free to comment uh, we can discuss through and clarify if you have any questions and on day 3 we will uh, resuming like uh, start implementing the coding in the pyspark in databricks thank you